Hey everyone, welcome back to you all in this new video. Today I have built a really cool IoT project where I can control the GPIO pins of an uh, SP32 uh, using Firebase real-time database. Uh, that means I can turn on or off any LED or device from anywhere in the world using just the internet. Uh, in this video, I will show you exactly how I made this project uh, starting from the wiring all the way to connecting SP32 with uh, Firebase. Let's start the hardware connections. The setup is very simple. I am using uh, an ESP32 development board with three LEDs. The positive leg of the LEDs goes to GPIO pin 12. 13 and 14 and all the negative legs goes through the ground of the ESP32 board. You can connect any other device or relay in the same way. Uh, once the wiring is ready, we are good to move to the software setup. Okay, now we will go to the uh, Firebase uh, console. For that, just search Firebase. Go to the first website click on go to console okay uh, we don't have any uh, project so it is our first project just click on the get started by setting up a firebase project uh, give a name uh, of your project suppose I am giving LED control uh, disable the uh, Google developer program option click on continue click on continue and uh, disable the Google Analytics and click on create project. Okay, our project is ready. Now just click on continue. Okay, uh, our uh, this is our uh, Firebase project. Uh, close the AI option. Now at first we need to go to the build section and click on authentication and click on get started here we need to select an authentication method for that i am selecting email and password enable it and click on save now uh, go back to the users tab and click on add user here provide a email address suppose i am providing my email address and set a password as you want suppose i am giving the password as one two three four five six uh, note down the email address and the password we are setting. Now click on add user. So the user added to this uh, Firebase project and uh, for authentication or accessing the Firebase project using SP32, we need this email address and password. Also here we are looking that there is a user ID, copy the user ID and keep it here this is our user id now i will give you a link in the video description uh, go to this link here you will get a uh, all the uh, files we need now uh, come back to the firebase project again and go to the build section and now click on real time database click on create database now select your uh, database location uh, select any of uh, the this which is near from your location from my location singapore is uh, closest to me so i selected singapore and click on next and select a start in test mode then click on enable okay our database is ready now at first we need to create a rules in the rules tab who can read and write in this database so who can read and write the user we have created a few seconds ago to set the rules uh, i have already provided the rules uh, in the github uh, link if you open the readme file here you will uh, get this line just copy it and uh, paste it here just we need to paste the user id here so our user id is that and i will paste it here once and here for the second time 
now just copy this again go to the rule section delete the previous rule and paste the new rules uh, and click on publish so here we have just mentioned that the our uh, user got the read and both write permission in this database now go to the data again here we need to create a table uh, for the firebase we call it node to create the node uh, i have already uh, make a json file database outputs dot json just download this file it will directly create a uh, node or table in my database now just click on the three dot icon and click on import json and here just browse the json file you have downloaded and click on import it will automatically create our data table looks already our data table created here under board section now go to the outputs go to the digital and here we are looking that there are uh, 12 13 14 gpu pins and all of the pins are now set in low condition okay now uh, uh, go to the project overview click on gear icon and go to the project settings and here now we need a web api key to get the web api key click on the uh, app section and click on web uh, give a name uh, for your web app suppose i am giving led control panel and click on register app okay our app already created we don't need the firebase sdk right now continue to the console again okay here we are looking that we got a api key and the database url now uh, it will need uh, for our coding the code uh, go to the github link and click on the control esp32 zpu using firebase.ino just copy the full code and open your arduino id paste it now here we just uh, need to change this section here we need to uh, paste our ssid suppose my ssid name my uh, wi-fi one and uh, password of this wi-fi is one two three four five six seven eight now also need to paste the web api key where will we find that we'll find that here just go to the project overview click on gear section then go to the project settings and if we uh, scroll uh, down we will get the api key just copy the api key and paste it here also we need the database url the database url also mentioned in the double quotation just copy it and paste it here now we also uh, mention the user email and password for authentication purpose our user email is this so paste it here and the password was this so paste it here okay our project is uh, our code is now ready just we need to upload the code for that go to the board manager here we need to select the esp32 dev module and the correct port just click on ok now click on upload button ok our code has successfully uploaded to the esp32 now uh, come back to our firebase project and go to the real time database Now we can control the GPIO pin from here. Just we need to change the value from 0 to 1. And we are looking that the red LED turned on. And if, uh, sorry, if we change the value for the 13 GPIO, we are looking that the green LED turned on. And we also do the same for pin 14. We are also looking that the three LEDs are now turned on and if we change the value again to zero we are looking that the LED turns off okay all the LEDs now turned off 
so uh, we can now easily control the 3 gpio pin from anywhere of the world using internet and uh, we can uh, also replace the led with relay to control our uh, real load so i think all of you understand how to use firebase with esp32 to control any gpio through internet if you like this video please subscribe the channel thanks for watching this video